Ruby on Rails is an open source web framework that's written in the Ruby programming language that allows you to quickly build powerful and robust web applications. Everything in Rails is designed to make your life as a developer easier by making assumptions about what you need to get started when you create a new web application. It allows you to write less code while at the same time accomplish more. Rails was created in 2003 by this dude, aka David Heinemeier Hansen, or DHH as he's known on the interwebs. Rails was sort of a byproduct of DHH's work on the project management tool we all know as Basecamp. However, it wasn't until 2004 that he extracted the source and released it as an open source project. In 2005, version one of Ruby on Rails was officially released. And Rails really took off in 2006 when Apple bundled it and shipped it with Mac OS X Leopard. So fast forward about 10 years and thousands of commits later, Rails is on version 4.2 at the time of this recording and has been tested and proven by huge names uh, such as Twitter, Hulu, Shopify, Groupon, uh, Airbnb, GitHub, Zendesk, and SoundCloud, just to name a few. There are a few principles that have guided Rails since the beginning, and those are the MVC or Model View Controller architecture, convention over configuration, and dry or don't repeat yourself. MVC is an architecture that separates your application into three distinct parts. Models, which are Ruby classes that handle the business logic and do the heavy lifting in your application. They talk with the database, validate data, etc. Views are templates that render the data from your models and handle the logic of the presentation that the end user sees and interacts with. Controllers sit in between both the model and the view, controlling the flow of the application. The controllers handle the requests, initiate changes to the model, etc. Convention over configuration, or the Rails way as it's called, is a set of assumptions or defaults as the best way to do things. Rails is designed to encourage this way of doing things and sometimes even discourage alternatives. So that way you spend more time coding and less time setting up endless configuration files. Dry is a software principle that aims to reduce repetition in your code and in turn make it more maintainable, more extendable, and less buggy. So although you don't necessarily need to learn Ruby before jumping into Rails, uh, knowing a little bit of Ruby syntax will definitely help you get started with Rails. So for that reason, in the next video, we're going to dive in to the basics of the Ruby programming language.